All right, how's it going, everybody? So here's uh, how to do this. Um, so the first thing you want to do is turn off your Pi, and then you're going to want to connect this connector from the um, volume. So it should be red, white, blue, or red, white, black. Uh, then you're going to want to count the pins. So it would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. You're going to want the red to go on the 12th pin. White's going to go on 14. Sorry for the bad video here. There we go. Just like that. All right. And now uh, let's turn this on and I'll move to the computer. All right. Now I'm logged in through Putty to uh, my new Pi. Um, I made a little Word document that I'll share with everybody. And here's a copy of it. This, it's kind of uh, just a quick how-to. So you just follow along. Um, every all the links I put are in red. Um, just follow along. So the first thing we're do is gonna copy this wget. This is the file that this guy Iculus made. So you're gonna copy and click on Putty, and then you can just right-click on your mouse, press Enter, and now it's been copied to my Pi. Go to the next one. Now we have to get a program called Wiring Pi. takes a little while to download sometimes. It's usually not too bad. I'm going to pause this and then I'll come back when it's uh, over so you're not sitting here watching it. Alright, now that it's downloaded, you can see in the bottom there it says uh, it's ready for the next action. So I'll go back to my list. Now I'm going to take those files and I'm going to merge them basically together. So I'm going to copy this next link, go back to my Pi, this is pretty quick. All right, it's done. Now I can test it all. So see here, you can see the, uh, the stock script showing that it is just waiting. And let me pause this, I'll go to my Pi. I'll move the switch back and forth a little bit and you can see how it's changed. All right, now I'll move this. All right, so now you can see how all the script has changed throughout. So um, let's see, where were we at? Here's the 75%, here's the 0%, and this is me moving it back and forth between high and low. So you can see it's actually working. So now to get out of here, I'm gonna press Control C. And now I'm back ready to continue modifying. So now I'm gonna go back to the little thing I made and I'm gonna I gotta edit this document. Copy this, go back to my putty. Alright. Now when you get to this screen, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the document. You're gonna to wanna to copy this. And you wanna make sure you get everything all the way to the and sign. Copy that, go back to the putty, and you want to make sure you get um, right before this exit zero here. So go ahead and scroll down, just to keep it neat, I like to, there you go. Now I'll press Control X, and then press Y to save it, and that's it. Press enter. All right, and now I'm going to need to perform a uh, reboot. So copy, go back here, reboot. Now my uh, Pi and my Arcade are now remotely rebooting. So let me pause this and now uh, show you how it works. All right, here I decided to pull up Marble Madness. You can see I have the volume all the way up. in the middle. There it is completely off. Alright, there you go. If you have any questions, let me know and thanks for watching.